G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today in our travels through the New Testament, we've landed at 1 Corinthians chapter 4, where Paul talks about the true nature of apostleship. Many followers of Jesus had been sent into Corinth to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus' life, death and resurrection and ascension and had shared the gospel with these people. But sadly, the Corinthians were elevating some leaders, some apostles above others. They were saying, well, one is a better speaker, one is more charismatic, one is more pastoral, one has better theology, I better follow them. And they were following some leaders at the expense of others. So what does Paul do? Does he elevate himself? No. He brings the Corinthians back to the true nature of apostleship. He says, you can't judge me because only God can judge me. And then he humbles himself. He likens himself and Apollos and all the other apostles to slaves at the end of a military procession. Slaves condemned to die in the Colosseum. He compares himself to the scum of the earth, the garbage of the world. He says in verse 12, We work hard with our own hands. We are cursed. When we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. We have become the scum of the earth, the garbage of the world, right up to this moment. In doing this, Paul follows the way of Jesus. He humbles himself in order to elevate God, in order to point the Corinthians and us back to Jesus. Sadly, in our world, we still elevate some Christian leaders above others. We say that pastor or that priest is more charismatic, they have funnier sermons, or they're better with pastoral care. And we pit different Christian leaders against one another. But friends, all Christian leaders are apostles. They are people sent into the world to glorify God and to send a message of Jesus Christ. And so we should follow those who follow Jesus. We should follow those who point us back to Jesus. We shouldn't play power games between different Christian leaders. Instead, we should always bring everything back to the gospel, back to the Bible, and back to Jesus. So my prayer for you is that you would be so on fire for Jesus, that you would be so in love with God and so filled with the Holy Spirit that you can't help but glorifying God with your whole life and allowing him to make you an apostle sent into the world to glorify him. My prayer for you comes from my e-prayer and the prayer for the week for the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. And it says, O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you, that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day, friends, and we'll see you next time.